everybody what we're going to do is to look at creating your blog um, as you can see I'm here in Google I have it signed in yet and I'm just going to follow these steps so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to blogger B -O -O -G -G -E -R com, and sign in, in the top right hand corner back to where we were and so UCA sign in and of course then we have to sign in with the UCA account and that brings us back to blogger so what you can see is um, this is the site that is represented on your page what you're going to do is create a new blog and so I'm going to set you through that. You have a first thing that you have to do though is uh, after you sign in it has a welcome screen welcome to blogger and then you will need to think about um, just the readings it has what it has there it's pretty simple just straight wanting to ask you if there's permission to access your account yes and then it'll ask you a little orange button in the bottom um, to like, continue to blogger and then there'll be a uh, got it kind of information uh, about what it's uh, going to be and then you'll just create a new blog and over here is a pull down button that I have because I have more than one and then you will also have a button here that says create a new blog so to pull down create a new blog and then title it and this is something we're all going to do It'll be the same. So I'm going to title STEM Teach EDUC 2301 and then your last name. So I'm going to put Buchanan in. For the address, since it's also scripted and can be customized, I'm just going to copy and paste this here. So just copied and then pasted it. And I just have blogspot.com. Sorry, it's already available because I already have that. So I'm going to give Buchanan one because I already tried it out. And create a new blog. Now there's lots of different formats you can use. And I'm just going to pick uh, this awesome ink one because I like the name. And hit create blog down in the corner. So it'll take a couple of seconds for it to do that. I'm going to say no, I don't want it to um, be connected to my Google account, such as on Google Plus, and there's your blank screen. Now you don't create a new blog each time, what you're going to do is create a new post. So this is what you'll have, you'll have a new post. Post title is going to be the article title. For example, I believe the first one is Shapui. And shop we and then you'll begin adding information to the text if you're so inclined you're very welcome to do the HTML um, or you can just simply type it as a Word document then uh, there's bolding italicizing you can change the font not very creative there but you can change the color to emphasize things or highlight them if you're going to hyperlink your work that's great um, if you have another uh, article for your peers or myself to use that's attached to the reading also I would like you to add an image so you can search have an image that's actually from the blog um, that you've already posted. You can upload one that you save to your computer. Google album file. Look at my lady dog. My puppy is so cute. Uh, from your phone, from your webcam, from a URL. So say there's an image that you're going to use that um, furthers the knowledge. Also, don't forget about videos. Videos are great. Um, video from YouTube, video that you know, you've created yourself that furthers information. So something that uh, you can add to the readings to make it uh, more interactive and engaging to the reader. So I'm going to exit that out. Spell check it is always awesome that you're going to do use of spell checking on there. So and then you just hit published or and preview your work. So, for example, 
I paste it in to the document. I'm going to look here um, from YouTube and I'm going to search for teacher reflections. And the heart of a teacher. Can, for those who can do, those can do more teach. That sounds lovely. So I'm going to, I can preview it. And then if it say, yeah, that's what I want. So then I'm just going to hit select, put that into the video. I'm going to need to include um, an APA format. So it says at the bottom, resources, video from, um, then I'm going to include the APA format for that video and the link to it and add that in there. So uh, you can see it might be automatically saving up here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to preview it, see what this one looks like. Hey, yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. And so I'm just going to exit out of that tab and hit publish. And I'm not going to share it on Google Plus. I'm going to leave it here, hit cancel. And there's my first post. Again, for the next reading, you're just going to go new post. Don't create a new blog. You're going to create a new post and you're going to keep this blog for the semester. You will need to share your draft. So what you'll end up doing is you go to view blog. And it's important that this address, it's, was, uh, it's what's shared. You can also click here and share this address. It's important that you have to share the blog address. If you share this, this is the editing tool and I will not have access and your peers will not have access to this address. So it's important that you're in the blog, the blog viewing section. So it'll we'll have your title up here at the top and then you can uh, share this main one with us when you uh, go to share it with somebody in your class. And then also with me, you'll do that in the Google Classroom. So I hope you find this valuable. Please let me know if I can be of assistance to you as you're creating this. Send me a message on Remind or shoot me out an email. So this will be a great uh, way for you to document your teaching philosophy and what you are, how you see yourself growing as a teacher through this semester and then also over the next few semesters before you graduate and what that has done um, to your philosophy of teaching and why you're teaching and uh, what kinds of impacts you want to make on students and their, your passion for your subject. So this is just a way to, to evidence your growth professionally. 